sun's out, but it's behind these edges. I think I'll suddenly warm up the moment and I pop out the other side. Yeah, we've just come through Ridlington Farm and now we've got the classic Rutland view, sunny view. We're not quite in the sun ourselves yet, so I'm still a bit nippy. But the train's great, it's a lovely little road to walk down. And hopefully we'll uh, pop out in a sunny location soon. Walking down the side of a field now and finally we can get views of the south side down in the hollow there, lovely farm down in the hollow. Not many hills forecast I think in the last mile back up to Riddington there's a bit of a climb but so we're coming up on a road, first road I've seen in probably three or four miles just been on these closed off track roads so there's no no vehicles at all sun's right on our back again there's a farmhouse just over there and that's lawn wood behind us with coat and Elston to the right which I think is the way we're going I think these markers must be the Leicestershire round, which is 100 miles, so... Oh dear. Fear the downhills because there will be an uphill right after it. <laughs> just sun's on my back now, it's just absolutely baking. Again, I've seen a soul. It's just so picturesque and quiet. Yeah, just miss the... Uh, Turn off there and 100 yards down the road, down the hill, had to come all the way back to go across. But again, another save by the Garmin 67i. One of the nice features is, you know, if you go 100 feet or whatever, it's already bleeping and telling you you're wrong, so you're never going to get yourself into any majors, major issues. Through the gate. Yeah. Yeah, not had much uh, mud or water to deal with, but my my boots are completely muddy now because there was a a cow trap down there where it goes down a hill between two fields the water so clearly that was uh, the cow's favourite muddy part yeah just come off that muddy field which has really caked me up and onto a busy bay road so you can see the sign down here where we turn off which is nice so back out onto fields and woods again Walking down here, there's actually a lake over there. I think this is the and a big house and then a lake on the side of it. Nice little fishing lake there. Look, lovely. All right, a bit slippy here. Ooh. And he went down. Down through a dell. A dingy dell. Yeah, over the top of that hill there, 
down into the dip. That was a bit of a bit of a push, and now into a sheep field, heading back towards the sun. Very nice. There's Lawn Dabby. Unfortunately, it's right. There's a sun behind it, which is not great. Two horses coming down a very steep hill. Oh, this is certainly a nice quiet place to come for a retreat. Christian Centre for the Diocese of Leicester. See if we can pop in. Just over the back now from Lawn Dabby. There's a farm over there with gallops. We're just heading up the side of these trees. It still looks a bit frosty actually. A bit muddy and slippy as well. This is a bit slippy down here. I am going to go down on my back at some point. Yeah, can hear the sound of water. It would be a great place for a trail run. It is gloopy down here. Even the horses, I would have thought, have trouble coming up here. So let's leave the camera on because I might be on the floor in a minute. <laughs> hey, I'll stick to the edge a little bit and not lose my shoes. <laughs> this is where you're relying on your shoes and your waterproof socks <laughs> and your gaiters for keeping the stuff off your trousers. And this is a place if you own horses. Well, I'll ride them out down here. Any hour of the day or night, it's just idyllic, man. You see over the hedges either side. It's all down and up. everywhere. Just walk past sign down there. Just saw the Ocado man. Obviously uh, not his regular round because he was really struggling up and down these old lanes trying to find the houses. I bet if you sit here quietly for a few minutes you'll see some wildlife. Some concrete, like a concrete dam or a weir over there. That's the other side of the weir. Keeping the water up in that side of the pond. And then there sounds like there's one under here as well. Yeah, you definitely hear it. Good going away. I think that's Ridlington in the future in the distance 
Should be a total of about 12 miles. That was a hard mile, slippy and slidey. And now we're coming into the woods, which uh, is quite pleasant actually, it's nice and quiet. And the horse trucking area supreme. The village hall that used to be the school. So that's where we went this morning. I'm back here to collect my car. More than all, about 12 miles. And the weather's been absolutely perfect again.